Hi YouTube and welcome back. Uh, it's uh, we're at the top of the sand, uh, or very close to it anyway, and uh, we're about to come in for landing at Bali. We have crossed uh, Australia. I cut away the middle, and uh, you know, maybe one day I'll find enough patience to to edit all that information down. But basically, we have cut away. Um, we have moved on up from um, Australia and we're now getting ready for our descent into uh, to Denpasar in Bali um, so it's time to get set up and get configured but let's start by getting uh, the weather at Bali Okay, so in our plan, we actually planned for uh, runway uh, 9, which I don't think will happen anymore since uh, she just said the wind was coming directly in from the west. I think this must be Lombok that we're seeing here. Uh, this is Sumba, a very large island over here, and then there's Bali over here. Uh, very, very cool. A really cool view. Um, but anyways, we uh, need to select a different uh, departure uh, arrival. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will be the ILS-27. And uh, But we can still do the Gaga uh, approach. But I think what we will do then is uh, we, let's see here, like so So we are way high. Um, I think if we'd known the weather change earlier, we would have, of course, have dealt with this a little differently. Um, so then the question becomes, how do you sort of drop uh, altitude when you're this this high? Um, we are... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this... Uh, actually works but as you see it will be pretty much uh, let's do uh, a hold and we'll do it at Umang Uh, 
I guess I don't know how to do holds here. One thing I'm super excited about, I have to say, would be um, Open Last Clan Asia. I think that's going to be a really, really killer, really, really cool. To get these islands and stuff even in even better quality than what they are right now, that would be so much fun. Well, we are sort of catching our, um, we are catching our, our flight plan here. Um, okay, so, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, Whiskey Delta Alpha Alpha, is that what the, Whiskey Alpha Delta Delta, that's what it was. Whiskey Alpha Delta Delta, and then buzzer. Okay, here we go. We are doing the ILS 27, which basically comes in at Benoa at 3000. We can hold up Benoa, and we have uh, uh, minimums of 270 feet. Put that in first. Two seventy, and we can look here. We can look at the nav radio, and we have. Let's see. Just make sure that double check that it has our frequencies. Uh, one with ten point three at two six six. Yes, it does. So. It should tune our radios just perfectly if we'll let it. Hang on this. I think we'll yeah, auto brakes to three, that seems reasonable. So yeah, flight level two three zero to buy that's okay, maybe we'll make this Let's see if we can contact Bali Center and see if we can uh, get a landing. No, we're not close enough yet. Put the weather radar on the other guy. And. Uh, Turn the seatbelt size on. Seat lights on. And we have to go. F and we'll select. Uh, should we go? F yeah, let's get a flap sturdy landing.
So I think we've caught the heading bug at this point. Now the um, the VNAV uh, path. You can see here now that we've, we're sort of catching up to this. Um, this is our VNAV path. I'm expecting it to, once it catches up to the VNAV path, to start descending again. There's the VNAV path, and hopefully we'll be at 8,000 feet when we get to Tickus. Tychus. So it's telling me it's captured the VNAV. But come on. Descend. And I'm and I kind of have noise made that check, check altitude target because uh, the altitude target should be 3,000 feet. Yeah, this VNAV seems a bit messed up. There's no way we'll make 8,000 by... Um, there's no way we'll make 8,000 by tickets. So this is Lombok, a beautiful island. I've been here in real life many, many times. And um, not many, many times. I've been here like three times, four times. The south coast of Lombok is utterly spectacular. And um, very undeveloped. But gorgeous. Uh, really, really gorgeous. Bali, I think, is the better sort of tourist destination for most people, but it's um, Lombok is really amazing. Okay, seventeen thousand feet. It's 
so we're going back to barometric pressure. The thing about the 737 and especially the 300 which we're flying here is it's it's so big it really takes some effort to stop and descend this plane. You have to stay on, uh, ahead of the power curve, or like you have to stay ahead of the, the game because if you, if you don't it's, it becomes an impossible job and I think <laughs> if it might be heading towards an impossible job. Um, what you sort of see here is uh, Nusa Penida, which is between Bali and uh, Lombok, and it's really not that far from one place to the other. And um, yeah, we'll see if we are able to catch up with this uh, profile. But you see, we're many, many thousands of feet above it. Try and slow down a little bit. This should give us some more time to do the descent too, even though it will slow our descent at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll bring the spoilers back out because we need to descend faster. Lovely clouds by Mtex. Really, really lovely. They look, uh, they look, uh, I mean, they really look quite wispy when you're close to them. Nice looking. So we're 4,000 feet above. But it is, uh, it is uh, diminishing a little bit, is that our... Oh, maybe I'm just imagining that. This is one of the dangers of sort of staying <clears throat> going away while it's doing its while the PNG is doing its time question thing is that you don't you don't get to stay ahead of these um, cool you don't get to stay ahead of the changes <gasps> Changes in weather, for instance, and and uh, where you'd be landing, right? So we were planning on landing on my nine, which would have given us a lot more time to descend than what we ended up with. But I think we're fine now. Actually, I think we're more or less going to be on the track. So, and we're about to cross ten thousand feet. So put on the landing lights for the beacon as well.
I think what we'll do also is we will um, extend the landing gear. To get some drag. And we'll take a, our first notch of flaps. Even though we're quite high. But we need to slow this down. There we go. That did the trick. And I think what we'll do here too. Okay, we'll arm the speed brake. Bring the speed back to. here. That's uh, the really beautiful Gunung Agung, the volcano on Bali, the main one. Gunung Batur behind that. And uh, yeah, the airport somewhere over here. Okay, we'll take flaps five. It's amazing how much it really helps to drop the gear. The gear will take care of your speed for you. That's for sure. <laughs> That's uh. Kind of a what's up altitude here. Attitude, I mean. Okay, um at this point what we will do also is we will arm our approach so I'll arm the localizer it was 266 I think that was the uh, approach that was the That was the localizer, um, of course. It's a very cool AI ship over there, and we're coming in. This is Aerosoft's. Um, this is the new Aerosoft version of Nagurarai, uh, which is, I think, the new version of the airport, or the new the new airport that they built there. It's got like a new terminal. It's a uh, pretty nice scenery, actually. I really, I quite like it. They've done a good job. So let's 
see are coming up on the localizer here. Two miles. Two miles out, and we'll see it. Um, we'll hopefully intercept the airport is here. There's our glide slope. That was the localizer, and we can then go ahead and arm the approach. Oh, there's the glide slope. It was just um, perfect. And I think we'll go ahead and do 515. Speed down, match the speed, bug, bug the speed. Clear this continuity because we have captured our localizer and we are about to capture our glide slope. Okay, and we have the glide slope. I think what we should do is we go ahead and we go flips 20. And we go flips 25. We add five five knots to that. Speed rake is armed, gear is down, auto brake set. Okay, we got our landing clearance. We can acknowledge that. And since we got our landing clearance, we can turn on the taxi light to indicate. A little bit of time for the people in the back. I guess normally it, you would wait until you got the minimums before you cancelled the, the autopilot, but since I'm doing this for fun and not for a job, I'll do it now. Let's see if I can't do this. I still have to auto throttle in though. See my inputs and how I control this plane at this point. Probably won't be too impressive because I'm already low. It's pretty good though, I have it only a slight crosswind. This is a really cool freeway that they built to take people directly 
around the city and go directly to the hotels down on the south coast. It's kind of smart, ambitious, but smart. Continuing the land. Oh, it's very hard. Very hard. I wasn't expecting it to be this high. I guess I always forget sort of how high these these massive planes are. So this is Aerosoft's Bali. I think it actually looks it looks really good. Um, this looks really good. It looks especially good with a big triple seven coming down here, huh? Look at that. That's that's how Garuda, Indonesia triple seven and Bali should look. Very very good looking. Yeah, we don't need those, I think. We don't need the straw, we don't need the beacon. Oh, we do need the beacon, and we can turn the AP on. There's another Garuda. And yet another Garuda. Uh, 737s. Okay, so the traffic can come on, we can take off the thing there, turn the terrain radar off, and we'll turn the weather radar off. Uh, what else do we need to do? Um, yeah, I think we're actually pretty good. Very cool airport. It's pretty saturated, but I sort of like it in some way. I think maybe because Bali as sort of a destination is kind of like a saturated destination. I, um, it's nice. Yeah, flaps are up. Um, speed brakes are up. Yeah, I think we're 
doing okay, dudes. Let's see how well I'm able to park this giant. up on it here. This is part of the this is the old terminal. And the new terminal is behind us. Behind there. Anyway, this is it. This is it. Gate two five. There's the ladder for the for the dude who's supposed to show me how far I'm supposed to go, but I can't see him. Well, that's a shame. it this way then. Let's line up by the numbers. Where's the last stop that it wanted us to stop at? There. Park it. And we the APU is on so we can just go we can just shut down the engines. Parked a bit too far on a skew. Whatever, man. Leave one of the pumps on. Packs can come off. Leads can come off. And the APU is on. Yeah. Um, ARUs can be unhooked, and uh, yeah, the lights are out, and now that's gonna be come off. Cool. So all in all, that took huh. Four hours and four minutes, I guess, uh, and it was meant to take us Yeah, and, uh, I don't get that. Six hours and three minutes, it says. And here it says four hours, five minutes. Hmm. That just doesn't seem right that we got that two hours faster than planned. <laughs> 
That seems a whole lot of wrong, uh, honestly. But uh, that's okay. Um, let's open some doors and um, request some deboarding here. That uh, uh, soda. Oh, that's so cool. This the door door two. Would it be? Uh, I wonder if we could connect both uh, jetways here somehow. That would be really cool. It's always such a bonus when that happens in real life. I love it when you take off a plane and how like you can step out on many of the jetways. It just makes everything so much faster and smoother. Big fan of that. Well, anyway, that's it, you guys. We made it to to Bali in our triple seven. Uh, I think I need to go watch the the course on how to operate this girl for real. I feel so much more proficient in the Q400 and in the NGX than I do in the 777. And um, I mean there's several reasons for that. Most of them being that I just haven't studied it, you know, right? And, um, and I think since it's such an automated plane, you kind of feel like you don't need to sometimes, but I think that's um, a bit of a mistake to think that so much glitching on the textures here. Like, what is going on? This uh, airport uh, maybe possibly needs some sort of update. I think there might be one actually that I haven't installed. Anyways, I'm uh, a big fan of this thing. It's um, pretty, pretty cool. The operate jetways. Just like reset position here, just for uh, to see how this uh, this works. Because I thought this was kind of interesting. This operate the uh, jet waste things. So jetway one, gate twenty five to left entry two, two L. Yeah, see I can make the other one go to there instead. I wonder if the other one will move. No. It won't. But you know, maybe with the 747 or other planes that will actually connect both uh, jetways. Very neat. Good job, Airsoft. That's um, pretty cool that uh, you have those SODI jetways. I did not know that they integrated it with GSX. That's awesome because I always felt like it would be so, so annoying to go up into the menu to operate the, the jetways. You know, I want this a few things. Uh, to do as possible, but I want to operate GSX, so if GSX can take care of it, that's ridiculously cool. Very cool. So here is uh, Jim Baran, the city I used to live in. I actually lived in the city for six months. Very cool place. 
very cool place. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I hope it was somewhat interesting. I'll probably record more with the triple seven soon. Okay, bye bye.